Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, our lady has been crying for days, almost a week, and mister is here. Wow, he's got a thing on his head. Yeah, they all have it. Okay, so we're cutting the wings, a little bit the so feathers. That, so that they, can, um, they won't fly, not so they will be gone. Just like her other man, who she's crying for. So this is how we do it, guys. It doesn't hurt them. If you don't cut it, she will, no, it's okay. Oh, just part of it? Mm -hmm. Like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are the ones that he used to fly with. And I think we were supposed to cut the other one again, but we didn't get to it yeah. before he flew, right? Right. One by one. Hmm? I said, let me cut it. Hold on. No, uh, this one, one. So that's Ooh. the one we take. Okay. Sorry. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Okay, I think it's okay. A little uh, string they tie their wings with so they can't fly. Yeah, the scissors aren't super sharp. So Yes. Mister is here, guys. Wow, look at him. Look at his self. Look at his self. Look at his self. Where's Mama? There she is. Mama. Mama, your your guy is here. Oh. We didn't see that he tied something on his leg. <laughs> Look, she's already walking with her guy. Look at him, he's handsome too, huh, Missy? Huh? Look at himself. Sir, she's been calling for you for a long time. Yeah, Look at her walking with him. Yeah, take it out off of his foot, Missy. Mm-hmm. You checking him out? Wow, he's big, too. So, my husband said rainy season, they will start laying eggs, guys. So, we'll make sure we get a box fixed where the animals can't get their eggs. What an exciting day. Baby's doing well. Baby's doing well. I gave Mama a little, a little corn corn, guys. Don't tell. I gave Mama a little corn corn when everybody else was out, just by herself. There they come. Here they come. So these metal feeders are good for out here. They've lasted a long time. The plastic ones, not so much. They tore them up. The metal ones have been doing good. Yep. So it's an exciting day here on the mini farm. We got our mail. Now let's see how mama does now. Let's see if she's crying all the time. You guys been hearing on the video, she's been crying a lot. Wow. <clears throat> yep. So this lady, you'll see her milk is filling out now. Sorry for filming your butt, mama. Her milk is starting to fill out. So that normally means she's close to having her babies. Let's hope and pray she has two. And the goats, I think, uh, not so much yet. We thought they were closer than what, we, what they actually are, but they're not. So the chickers are doing well. Chickers are doing well. I'm trying to get this black one to come around where she will be not afraid of me. They've been pecking her in there for a long time. There she is. Yeah, they've been pecking her for a long time. 
So my husband finally said we can take her out. So we're putting her here, like this lady. We put her back in and they packed her new feathers. She likes me though. Hey mamas. She's not afraid of me because she always runs to me and hide and I always push them away and don't let them peck her. So she knows I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, protect her. So she was running to me after we put her back in the pen and I went back in there, she was running to me and I told my husband and he said we can put her back. So we got her back over there safe and sound. Yep, safe and sound. So now we have four in here. We have 15 here and I think it's 264 over there. Yep. I did the math yesterday. They're laying um, about 80%. More than that. Was it 85%? Yeah. So they're doing really well. 85%. Even though I added these ladies in. But these some of these are old. Some of these are old. So it's really not fair to add them in with the others. But yeah. That's what it is. We're learning, guys. We're learning, I'm learning how to do the math. I'm learning, I mean, I know how to do math, but I'm learning how to keep the books and calculate the cost and the, um, the profits and all that. Yep. Yep. So guinea fowl is going over there to get him some water. Um, hopefully he learns about these others. He will. His his girl will show him around. She'll show him around. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rooster says I better get busy. All right, guys, I got a lot to do still. Um, yeah, it's Sunday morning. This is the day we go and worship. Um, takes us about an hour to get there, guys. We worship in Abeka by La Paz. So if you guys know where that is, that's where we fellowship right now. It'd be really, really nice to have one right here. Um, yeah, where we can go close because it takes a lot of work to do this and then you drive all that way and then come back. But we do love the congregation there. Um, we love the people. And it makes the journey worth it. Yep. So that's what we got going on today. Rooster's checking out the ladies. <clears throat> he wants to go see the ladies. <laughs> the geese already got this water dirty. But I'm finding that this uh, container, since I made it tall, is a lot better. So what I think I'll do is probably get another one of these. I have them in the storage get another one and cut it down and uh put it maybe right over here i'm not gonna walk it over there that bucket's about had it guys it's falling apart i bought that at dollar tree probably 15 years ago that was a really good bucket i have another one like it um in the house but the rope broke that's how much we've used it and the rope broke on it but yeah it was really really useful You'll be surprised, guys, how much, um, when you're doing something like we've done, how much your stuff really helps. Yep, some of the stuff, uh, we had an interview yesterday, and like I said, some of the stuff I wouldn't have shipped, and some other things I would have shipped. So, I guess we can do a whole video on that eventually. But yeah, some things I would have shipped more of and other things I would have not so much shipped. But you live and you learn. And that's what we're here for. If you guys have questions about shipping or anything, you can um, ask us. Yep, we'll help you out. We shipped out of Greensboro, North Carolina, guys. So if you want a shipper, we do have another one. One of them... Uh, we wouldn't recommend, but another one we would. Um, yeah, so there's one in Greensboro, North Carolina. You would have to get your things to the warehouse, though. So, And 
um, if you're shipping anywhere, I would recommend that you guys uh, list out every single thing you have in your boxes, barrels, whatever you're shipping. Um, list it out, guys. List it out so you know what you have. Because some of our things on one shipment were, were missing. So, I mean, you expect some things to get broken sometimes because of the nature of shipping. But, yeah. Yep, some of our things were missing. We know we bought. And, yeah, they weren't there, so. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go at that. I really got to get busy. It's getting late. We got to hurry up. I still got to take my shower, and we got to eat breakfast. So, till next time, God bless you.